so this is another video of the plant room we've been doing a lot of work today we have been busy just getting things organized and getting everything looking super amazing um, i've done some plant videos before um, but i wanted to show you some things here um, because we did a lot of work especially on this here if you've been watching my channel um, or if you are part of any of my other channels you are probably very familiar with what my plant room looks like. But today, I wanna to just kinda of show you around a little bit. Um, we, I completely took every single plant off of the shelf. I had just been placing plants just kind of everywhere because, well, I just didn't have a whole lot of time. But we reorganized everything. I'm not done yet, but um, I just tried to put things where it looked a little more aesthetically pleasing, I guess you could say. So I just wanted to kind of go through, but I went through and I basically like cleaned every plant, watered the ones that needed, and also Captain Jack's and all a bunch of other different things, cutting off any stems or leaves that looked terrible, and then any kind of repotting that was necessary. So I just want to kind of go through a few things in the room um, that are kind of different. Um, obviously, this is completely different, but um, I decided to take my avocado plant or tree and place it on here versus over by the window. And uh, I just kind of put it in this corner here because I like seeing it. I think it looks really cool there. So we've got recently some new little orchids which were on sale. So I saved the orchid. Here's one here. Here is a Cissus discolor. We did a lot more um, labeling, which was important. <clears throat> if you guys know what this alocasia is, I can't remember if someone said it was an, a dark shield or what it was, but it's almost black in color and it's really cool. But I don't know, I don't know the name of it. So if you guys know, comment below. I've got an alocasia sinuata, but also I think this has been called Quilted Dream. So that's super pretty. I actually grew this one from a corm. But yeah, I love the look of that. I like the thicker leaf. I love all alocasias, but I really like the thicker leaf one. Um, this one here is the Philodendron Golden Crocodile, I believe is what it is. And it's just got that nice pop of neon green. Always love that. I got the Ficus Triangularis. I got the Anthurium Nigrolaminum, which is a really cool one. I have two of these. They don't ship very well, so they kind of came in bad shape. So they're still recovering, but they're doing okay. I've got a Calathea vitata, which is, as you know, Calatheas really are prone to spider mites and pests, and a lot of times they'll do some crisping. You have to be careful with the water and high humidity, so they're very, very picky. But this one, um, I rehab probably over a good six months, somewhere around that, yeah, probably even longer than that. Um, and so I actually just took it out of its Ziploc bag, and it's doing amazing. I cut this thing all the way down because of all the spider mites that it had got a Hoya Queen back there, which it was getting some, it's kind of, I don't want to say sun stressed because obviously it's a, it's a light, but light stressed. And I just cleaned off the leaves, fed it a little bit. And then I've got an Anthurium Silver Blush. I've got a little bit of Captain Jack's on here. It's got some green um, growing out of the sphagnum moss. I always love that when sphagnum moss does that. I've got a um, Rex Begonia here. I was doing a live on another social media app and someone said that it might potentially be Begonia, Jurassic, Jurassic Dino Black Sky or in that line. So this is not, I'm gonna look that up just to confirm that, but um, it's just kind of nice to know. I like to know what the names of my plant plants are, but it's got kind of like almost like a black color. So I'm really into black pant, plants, pants, plants, and then I've got a philodendron rubo, rubo tinctum. Now this one, as you can see here, some spots here. These are fungal spots. And so I've treated this with fungal. Probably shouldn't be keeping it right here, but I am. So it is, it is what it is. And this is, this is actually also, this was a rehab and it's doing great. I had it under high, high humidity. I think that might be too why some of the fungal spots are there too. I've got a Hoya Wayeti. And I've got a hybrid here that is a forgetty eye. I can't see it too well. We have several of these. A um, forgetty eye and a Bessier. I've got a Azlani, Alocasia Azlani, which is absolutely beautiful. And this was actually kind of a mistake. Um, it happened accidentally. I've got everybody think of a name for this this uh, this uh, skull there, skull head. I've got a Calathea Macchiona. I got a Philodendron. Pearl Marks Variegated. I've got an Anthurium Magnificum Verde, which is absolutely beautiful. 
um, that just huge leaves. I mean, it's like this one, it's got some little bit of like, um, I think some burn spots maybe from the light, but it's a huge, it's a huge leaf. So um, I've got a caladium. This one I actually got last night. I just thought it was so pretty, the color, and it just kind of adds that extra color that it's needed, I feel like. Got my Thai constellation there. I've got an Albo, which is absolutely beautiful. I've got a Columbia. I've got a Queen. I got, um, and I, I always want to say this wrong, a recta, 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 bum, recta, ah, Anthurium recabum. I always say it wrong. I don't know what my deal is. But I need to be careful about something here because it seems like on this leaf it's kind of getting a little bit weird. But um, it wasn't like this before, so I don't know what's going on there. So I need to look at that. Ooh, but that one. Look at that. That's beautiful. And then I've got some baby tears here. Very, very cute. I love that look when it just kind of strings down like that. I like a lot of different variations in plants of so the shapes, the size, the texture, the color. I think it's really cool to add different things um, to your plant shelf. I've got a Florida beauty here, which is an absolute beauty. I've got, an, I think oxalis is how you say this, but it's really cool. It likes high bright light. You see it blooming right over there, super pretty. So it's like super bright light that will help to grow. I've got a mini monster, which most of you know that it is not actually, or some of you may know that it's not a um, actually a monster. It's a Rifidophora tetraspermum. So tetraspermum. Back here, I've got a Hoya australis. Here, I've got, let's see what I've got here. I always forget that this is a squama, squamiform, or squamiform, pillagener squamiform. And then over here, I've got. I've, this, I can't remember the name of this one, but um, let me see here. Where's the... Oh, it's a... Um, mm, I can't see. It's not, like it's a strange... Let's see. Let's get here. Um, lentil. We'll just think of lentil soup. Anthurium lentil equigenera. So, equigenera, you guess where I can this get that lentil from? Lentil I think it's lentii, maybe? Maybe I read it wrong. I don't know. But, um, but I think it has a cool shape, so... And then I've got a Alocasia maharani or maharini, which is once again that thicker leaf. It's kind of cool. Um, I've got a gryphon or griffon, however you want to say it. This is a begonia, and this thing gets huge. It's really cool when you put it in super bright light because it will get super red on the back. Um, this doesn't get super bright light, so it's not that red. But you can see how big the leaves are, and it's just spectacular just by itself, without, even without the red. Um, I've got a, sometimes when certain allocations aren't getting enough light, they, they'll they actually start to cup or curl. And I don't know if this has something to do with trying to get light a certain way, like to be able to absorb more light. I have no idea, but I have noticed that when they're kind of in a lower light condition, they will start to cup like that. And then I got, let's see here. I like this one. This one's a really cool one. And that is an Ethereum Pedatum. And, um, well, that's, um, oh, and I've got a Hoya obovada. Let me bring this out here so you can see it. Hoya obovada. I really like this one. Uh, I have some, I'm not a huge Hoya collector, but I do like the ones that I do have. Uh, this is kind of, I like the oval, oval leaf there. Um, you can see I accidentally burned it early on. That I think I did this, I've had this for, I don't know, a year and a half, two years. And when I first got it, I think I got accidentally got some water on there and it was right under a, a grow light and that's what happened. So that's that. This is kind of one of my newer plants. I think this is like the tricolor, um, Trescantia, Trescantia or Trescantia um, tricolor. And it's just really pretty. I probably need to do a couple things with it because it looks like it's kind of not real happy where it's at right now, but it's, it's super pretty. I, I really like, I repot it, had a tiny little pot um, my husband teases about Triscantia or Triscantia all the time, but I really love it. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I know that like it will grow anywhere, but I'm just starting to really just appreciate how much, um, I don't know how pretty they are, how different they are. And I like the variety as well. So, but I will go ahead and probably end on that. I have so much more to show you, but I did want to at least show you these things, some of the ones that I just showed you from my plant room, but you say I have more to go. We're not done with rearranging everything, but we got quite a bit done today. And make sure to comment any kind of videos that you'd like to see, but I just wanted to show you at least part of the plants. Oh, and there is an angel weed begonia. Forgot to show you that one. Um, and then some of these ones up here, but I got lots more to show you. 
And yeah, go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and signing off until later.